Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu Mail to Gmail in 2024. So we're bridging the gap between two powerful email platforms, Zuhu Mail and Gmail. Connecting these services allow you to manage your emails seamlessly in one unified inbox. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect Zuhu Mail to Gmail in 2024. So let's make your email experience even more efficient. And let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with. Here, myself, uh, for me, I'm going to use Brave Browser, and of course, in your case, it could be any other browser this could possibly have. Once you open that browser, you can simply go to this URL section. In this video, first of all, you will use a tool called Zapier to connect these two and will, this Zapier will automate a lot of things for us and make it easier for us. So go to the URL section, type zapier.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen. Of course, you will not find yourself in here. I'll just show you. So you will find yourself on a home screen or main screen like this. So if you have an account, go and click on login to login at your account. If you don't, click on sign up. And if you don't know nothing about Zapier, you can scroll down to read more information about this website as an example. You'll be able to connect a lot of things together and even automate those things out. So we can scroll down to read some information about it to understand a lot about the Zapier, see what people are saying about it, familiarize your or just have general idea about it. And then if you have an account, go here, log in into your account. And if you don't, click on sign up as an example. You can sign up using Google, Facebook, or Microsoft. Login will be the same, if even with SSO. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in at your account, so for me, I'll just log in with my Google account. For you, can even create an account with Google or Microsoft. I showed you before with what's, and here click on continue because they will share. Of course, Google will share with Zapier email name and the necessary informations. And here, of course, the fun starts. What you will have to start with is simply. An example, of course, you can explore like the dashboard. So this is going to be your dashboard. Familiarize yourself with the dashboard. You can go into several stuff and see what everything is working or what everything is doing. I am, as you can see here, on the free plan. I can go and upgrade my plan. If you want to get like more apps, more features, so on the free plan, I'll get two steps zaps, visual editor, and unlimited zaps. On a better plan, you'll get multi-step zaps, some other options, and you can go if you like it. You will surely like it, but if you want it, you can go and get a plan for yourself. You can pay monthly or yearly, whatever suits you. And yeah, so for me, I'll just go back. What we need to do, first of all, like, let's just get back to the idea. Just go to the plus panel, click on apps. And we'll have to look if there is Zuhu Mail and Gmail in here. So I'll go, first of all, through Gmail. As you can see, Gmail in here. And we'll have now to look for Zuhu Mail. As you can see, Zuhu Mail in here. So you will have to connect those two options now or while you're creating your apps. I'll let it afterwards. And I'll just simply start by clicking on Create here on the top left and click on Zaps. As you can see, automated workflow. If you want to do everything manually, that's cool. But you can even use this AI tool. It will help you even do the connection fast. So. Connect as an example. I'll just type here connect my Zuhu mail to Gmail and click on generate. Now, this AI tool will understand what I typed and will create triggers and actions for me, as you can see. So, connect Zuhu mail to Gmail for email synchronization. Step one, new email, and step two, send email on Gmail. This is the automation that he made. Of course, we can change it however we want. Now, well, basically, uh, as you can see, when we receive a new email on Zoom Mail, this automation, what it will do, it will send a new Gmail, uh, a new email in Gmail. Of course, if you don't want this one exactly, you can go and change this, or you can uh, with the AI, or you can change this manually. As an example, so app and events, as you can see. So the events, what do you would like the event to be? Like, what do you want to even do with this connection? First of all, do you want to do this? Like, when you receive a new email on Zoom Email, send the email in Gmail, or like when you receive a new email match in search or new tagged email. This is if you want even like your Zuhu mail to be the, uh, the trigger. 
if you want it to be Gmail, you can change it. Here, Gmail and here, like Zuhu Mail. You can do this as an example. You can do the opposite. And here, of course, the event will change. So new attachment, new email, new matching email, new label, new things. And here on the events, what it should do once it's this event gets triggered. Like if I get new email, Zuhu should, I don't know, maybe uh, create a draft, create a folder, create a tag, send an email. Do whatever you want. You can even, if you don't see what you need, build a new action with the help of AI. Click on it and you can start building a new action. As you can see. So give them the URL, what to do, uh, and the key, value, everything, and it will be able to create this for you. So basically, I'll just choose like here, create a folder. And what it's rest is simply connecting your account, your Gmail account. So account here, click on sign in. My account right here. Continue. Allow. And yeah, as you can see, it's connected. So now you can test it, test the trigger, and if it's working, it's working as you can see. So the test is working, nothing is wrong. You can continue the select records or this one or this one, whatever suits you, or just close it because it's as you can see, check option that means all good. Now you can go to this, you'll have to do the same, sign in into your account. So You'll have to enter your domain, select the domain where Zuhu account data resides. So select this domain and then click on continue to Zuhu mail. So click on accept as an example and cannot connect to your account. Maybe there is a problem at the moment, but it's fine for you. Just go and connect to your account and you will have to test. Once you test everything and you have a check option in here again, you will be able to publish this app and this connection will be established and even automated you can now when you receive a new email create a folder or send an email in gmail whatever it is whatever you want depending on create a folder we have here and here so this will create a folder of course here you'll be able to see the status of everything here you'll be able to see some linked assets you'll be able to do everything that you want once you finish and you have both check option click on publish and you'll be good to go so that's going to be it for me today. And for you, there you have it. You successfully connected Zuhu Mail to in Gmail to Gmail in 2024. Now you now can manage emails from both accounts and uh, one and find inbox as an example or through Zapier. So if you have any questions or this specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.